From the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is 1011's Morning Pulse. Good morning, I'm Danielle Shank with your Morning Pulse for Wednesday, May 22nd, 2024. If you're starting Memorial Day weekend early, you might want to check the forecast before heading out. Today, a storm system that's been spawning deadly tornadoes is moving east. This tornado was spotted in Corning, Iowa, one of multiple that touched down in the state yesterday. The Iowa State Patrol reports several fatalities and injuries from this system, which resulted in numerous tornado warnings affecting millions of Americans as it struck at least a dozen states. Before hitting Iowa, the system caused flooding in parts of eastern Nebraska. In Wahoo, drone video and photos show the town around 11.30 a.m. The Saunders County Emergency Manager confirms no evacuations have been ordered. It's unclear if any buildings were damaged by the flooding. Officials are urging people not to drive through flooded roads. Happening today at 10 a.m., Nebraska Attorney General Mike Hilgers is making a litigation announcement regarding a recent investigation into a company's deceptive business practices. Then at 1 p.m., NDOT and the Nebraska State Patrol are speaking on a nearly two-week-long seatbelt enforcement campaign. NDOT reports that seatbelt use in our state is one of the lowest in the country, with 321 fatalities attributed to not wearing seatbelts since 2021. Across Nebraska, the number of kids in the foster care system has been declining, but so has the number of families willing to take them in. In Lan Lancaster County alone, there are 555 kids in the foster care system. To address this, C Compass is expanding its services from central Nebraska to Lincoln. Compass says recruiting families has been challenging since COVID-19, so now they're focusing on those close to kids in need, such as relatives. Lastly, last night marked the highly anticipated finale of The Voice, with Lincoln's Brian Olson among the top five talents vying for the championship. In the capital city, dozens gathered at the talent room downtown to watch part two of the finals. Ultimately, Olson placed third. I'm just so happy to like soak in every second of this day. This experience has shown me and shown the country how Nebraska rallies around for one of their own. Olsen performed Feeling Good by Joe Bonamassa with coach John Legend before it was all said and done. Rounding out your headlines is a check of the seven day forecast. You've been listening to 1011's Morning Pulse. Watch, listen, stream on the 1011 Now app, on YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts.